everyone. Welcome to this video Alto's hands on questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Now, let's get started with the introduction. We will be working with the accident data set. Below is the sample data. For this demo, I have created the sample accident data which has four sheets Jan, Feb, March and April. There are accident IDs along with the count of accident which happened and the month. So for Jan, we have 1 to 10 IDs. For Feb, 11 to 20. In March, 20 to 30. And in April, 31 to 41. Moving on to our question. We need to input the monthly accident Excel workbook. Then accept the user input for sheet name. Based on the user input, show the accident for the specific sheet. So, for example, if the user selects Jan month, so we have sorry Jan sheet, then we have to display the Jan accidents. So, let's move on to Alteryx. First of all, let's try to create the macro because it's a, we need the user input for this. Let me bring in my tool container. Let's move on to the interface tools to bring in the macro input tool. We'll provide the sample data to this. So Let's mention it as sample and sheet, okay, as a value, or maybe sheet one. Next, as you have followed, if you have followed the series, you know what we'll be doing next. We have to bring out a filter tool. So let's put this inside some container for processing. I'll connect my input to the filter. Let's use the custom filter. So our name was, I think sample, right? Sample is equal to sheet one. Next would be to update the values. For this, let's bring in the, first of all, let's capture the user input using a drop down. User selection. In drop down, we will give manually val manual values for Jan, Feb. March and April was full name, so we'll give April. Next would be to connect my drop down with my filter. So we got the update, the action tool, okay, we'll update it. We'll keep it as update value and we'll replace specific string, string which is the sheet name. So our final part would be the output. For this, we'll bring in the macro output and connect our filter true results to this. 
let's see if it is working so we should be getting shaitun yeah so this is working let's save this macro now let's move on to creating our workflow For the workflow, since we have to input the Excel, let's bring in our input tool. We brought in our input data. We'll set up a connection from files. Select the file which is accident data. Here we'll go to the last option which is import only the list of sheet names. We'll click on OK. So you see all the sheet names which are Jan, Feb, March and April values are shown here. So based on user input we need to pass in the sheet. So let's bring in our macro here which is Mac1. Let me connect this to this and let me bring in the browse tool. Macro let's specify we want the sheet names to be passed. Okay in our let's select March. Let's run this and see. So we see this macro is working properly based on user input is giving us the output. Now to do this in the Excel sheet, right? To select E sheet, we'll have to use a dynamic input tool. We'll bring in a dynamic input tool here. We'll configure it to the Excel file which we are using. Uh, by default, let me keep it as Jan. So we can see the value of Jan, click on OK. Next thing in this would be, we have to select the field name. Sorry, we have to give an input to this from the macro. So we get the sample which is being passed out We'll keep this as change file slash table. Let me browse. So you see March data is being shown. If we want to validate, let's go to March. It was having from 20 to 30, right? 20 to 30 IDs. Let's just change this to Feb for now and see the output. So we're getting 11 to 20, which is was the Feb value. Thank you for watching.